Back to the poem. There is not as much good as men claim there is in alcohol for one's well-being. A man knows less as he drinks more and loses more and more of his wisdom. It's as if a memory-stealing bird flies overhead while you drink and steals your mind away. I myself have been trapped in that bird's feathers when I drank at Gunlaw's house, home, sorry. I was drunk. I was too drunk at Fjaller's house. The best kind of feast is the one you go home from with all your wits about you. So, all right. So, I guess we we will actually talk about the the dangers of alcohol, in that it does it lowers your inhibitions, it uh, it lowers your uh, your capability for motor skills. Um, what else? It fogs your brain. If I knew more about brain chemistry, I'd go into exactly how it works. I think it touched, it interacts with the opioid receptors or something. And, um, and part of the problem is that it feels good. So you're more likely to drink more until it doesn't feel good. Um, so we'll talk about, we'll talk about, you know, drinking while you're traveling, not good because you need your wits about you when you're in the unknown. So that's, uh, that's a pretty easy one to uh, get your head around the, um, yeah, unfortunately I, we're between two pages here. So yeah. Lots of flipping, but I love the idea of it being a memory stealing bird. That's a, that's a great one. And, um, it's funny too, because one of Odin's birds is actually memory. I think Munin Munin. Yeah. yeah. So th- there is a, there is kind of a theme of birds stealing thoughts and things like that, or, or dealing in thought. And so we've got one that is willing to uh, steal your memories, which, which is a pretty awesome uh, visual. And so we'll go with uh, verse 13, because, continuing with the, uh, the bird. He's talking about when he was drinking at uh, Gunloth's home. And Gunloth is the, uh, the giantess that um, one of the giants has uh, has his daughter Gunloth guard Odin from stealing the um, the mead of poetry, and I can't think of the name. Od Odriar. Odriar. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And so Odin uh, sort of has to convince her to give it, and he. Well, we actually get into that story in, in the Havamal. It's very interesting. I'm not going to spoil anything here. But I, th- I do think it's very worth noting that uh, Gunloth, the name means uh, invitation to battle. And when I found that out, all I could think of was all the times I'd gone out to, you know, a bar with friends and seen men get, you know, ridiculously drunk. Women too, actually, because, you know, the, they have their part to play in it as well. Uh <laughs> no one gets away here free. <laughs> and uh, so the, the name means battle invitation. Well, how often do you see drunk men and women fighting over women? It Like, that's a pretty common common occurrence. And so I think it's brilliant that the name is battle invitation because you, you drink so much and then... Plus there's like... There are certain drinks that are known to... Uh, instigate fights as well like uh i think jagger is a <laughs> <laughs> get jagger drunk and you're gonna fight or you know jack daniels is also good so i've heard uh for you know to get you in the mood for fighting and why wouldn't you want to fight over a woman as a man and and for women i mean i have also seen women getting drunk and pitting men against each other for you know for their affection like it's it's a pretty common uh one of the more common things when drinking occurs, is this is stuff that happens, especially with like young, young guys, young women who are, uh, you know, full of hormones and looking for something to do on a Saturday night. So I, I really enjoyed that. I thought, you know, they hit the nail on the head there. 
And then uh, when he talks about being at uh, Fjallar's house, Fjallar is a, a dwarf and they actually, um, we'll see in some of the uh, later stories that Fjallar and his uh, brother's name escapes me right now, they, um, they kill one of the Aesir and make them eat a poetry out of his blood. And that, a story for another time. Fasir. Pardon? Fasir. Yes. Uh, but uh, Fjallar's name means uh, hider or deceiver. And I think we've all, well, maybe not all of us, but it's pretty easy to lose things and be deceived when you are very drunk, when you are too drunk. <laughs> and then it, it ends with, you know, the best kind of feast is one that you can go home from with your wits about you. So, and we talked about a bit about it already, that the meat of poetry is that they're not saying don't drink. That, that's not what they're saying at all. It's They're saying don't get obliterated, which is funny because if you think of Vikings, they have this reputation for being like, just like gluttons and monsters. Like they just drink everything in sight. But if we go by this, I don't think at least the, the standards of the community was don't do that. So... Well, yeah, maybe maybe they actually had a problem with that. Yeah, and, uh, that's why they made the rule. <laughs> that's exactly. probably it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, um, well, I, I think it's 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 accurate to say that I don't think most people would go in thinking that Odin, you know, top Viking god, would be encouraging people not to drink so much, as much as he does. But yeah, like. Uh, there is not as much good as men claim there is in alcohol for one's well-being. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but but then he goes into specific examples, right? And I actually really liked that. He's owning his mistakes. No, noting, for sure. Noting occasions, taking responsibility. He's to blame for his drinking, right? So, so I mean, again, I mean, if we're, if we're taking the character of odin as what he is the creator of the world and whatnot uh the the eternal seeker of knowledge and wisdom he still screws up he still goes and drinks too much and he has to own up to it and and i think that is first of all humbling that sort of what, what that says to me is that the only way to get past your mistakes is to take ownership definitely responsibility but it's it's also just that anyone can make mistakes right so so that's also just leveling it's it's not like it's not like these gods are just these shining examples balder maybe but are are these shining examples of perfection they're much more like real people who have real concerns and life experiences that are more relatable. And so, I mean, that's something that I really, really like, but no, if we're, if we're getting through just on the, the ideas here about alcohol, it's definitely a call to not drink too much. And maybe also if you do like own up to it and maybe take, uh, take stock of yourself, maybe don't do that again or, as often or yeah. <laughs> something like, I mean, baby steps, right? If you're, uh, um, if, if you're someone who gets, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit overly drunk a little too often, maybe just try cutting back or something like that. Then there's the, that's not to get into, you know, people who actually like need alcoholism and all that. Kind of, yeah. 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 Although I think it's also worth noting about Odin that the only thing Odin consumes is mead. So again, this isn't about not drinking. It's just about not overindulging. And I think you're totally right that <laughs> it was a problem. So they had to figure out what to do about it. Yeah, possibly. There's a, I think there's also a pretty, pretty darn good uh, call not to drive drunk as well. If we're bringing it into the, the practical modern sense, you know, the best kind of feast is the one you can go home from with all your wits. Oh, for sure. I mean, get home safely. I don't, that, that's not the only nuance to that sentence, but it's, it's definitely uh, a call to responsibility and 
getting home safe and not endangering others. I think sure. that's that's darn well accurate here. So just to bring things into the modern day, don't drink and drive. I think that's something we can all agree on. Yes. 